Lake George Battlefield Moments, a production of Lake George Battlefield Park Alliance, preserving our area's incredible history. A weekly feature on Lake George Radio, 93.5 FM and live streaming at lakegeorgeradio.com. Here's the president of the Lake George Battlefield Alliance, John Denuso. Good morning, everyone. This is John Denuso of the Lake George Battlefield Park Alliance, and I'm very pleased to have as a guest today Pam Collier of Fort William Henry. Pam's uh, expertise among many other talents she has, is in the archaeology of the area. She's participated in archaeology at Lake George Battlefield Park. We're talking today about Fort William Henry and what's been found there over the years. So, Pam, welcome. Thank you, John. Obviously, it's a big year this year for Fort William Henry, the 70th anniversary. Can you share with us just when uh, archaeology began in the modern era at Fort William Henry? It's interesting that even though the outline of the fort was visible, well protruded above the surface, there was no archaeology done at the Fort William Henry until 1953 when Stanley Gifford was hired by the Fort William Henry Corporation. He was assisted by his wife Ruth, and their goal was to find the foundations and the floor levels of the fort because the new corporation wanted to rebuild the fort as accurately as possible. And they had retained the actual building engineering drafts from the British government. And they were looking for the foundations to place it. And they were looking for how deep the floor might be. And they also wanted to find the cemeteries. They knew that there were soldiers buried there. And they wanted to be certain that they didn't disturb those. He did the Northwest Bastion. That was the bastion that took the brunt of the French bombardment. And he was able to excavate that completely. And he pulled out a lot of cultural items, mostly um, mortar shells and gun flints, things to do with war, obviously. He did the southeast of the parade ground, and he did find some human remains there. And he also did find the cemetery. Wow. Now, Fort William Henry itself only existed for less than two years. I mean, obviously, everyone knows that the the siege happened in 1757, and basically that was the end of the fort. So the ruins were there from the 1750s essentially to the 1950s. That's correct. So there's a lot of uh, fertile ground there for archaeologists. So how much of what Gifford found is still on display? I mean, was it that noteworthy that there's still things there that uh, yes. he found? Yes, what we have on display is mostly Gifford's things. And the sad story is that in 1967, we had a fire in that barracks, and we lost a lot of Gifford's things, including his field notes. Now, I know more recently... Uh, the late Dr. David Starbuck oversaw a a number of archaeological digs at various places in the area, including Fort William Henry. What has been done in the modern era? David dug in two different sessions. He would conduct field schools for Adirondack Community College, which is now SUNY Adirondack, and he would have students as well as volunteers. And he dug from 1997 to 2000. He found a lot of disturbed ground in the first session, the 1997 to the 2000 dig. He was coming across Gifford's trenches and such. He did find some remains of Fort William Henry in 2011 and 12. I was part of that dig team and we did find the remains of the East Barracks. It was about six to eight feet down underneath the parade ground. What's interesting is David knew for certain that Stanley Gifford had found the foundations because he found the trenches around the foundations. So he knows that Stanley had had located them and Stanley chose or someone chose not to build the fort directly on top of the foundations. So it's about 15 feet off of the real foundation. So that leaves the foundations there for us to excavate now. So we were able to get down and find them in 2012. It took us two years to dig that pit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, I believe in talking to your CEO, Kathy Munsell, that the remains that the, the Ford has had in storage uh, will be part of the reinterment, hopefully, of what's going to take place within the next couple of years at Lake George Battlefield Park. Can you share anything of of that with us? We're very pleased to be part of that. It is time to reinter them, and and we're very pleased to be part of the Cortland Street remains and have all those men put to rest. Thanks so much. Always a pleasure to speak with you, Pam. Our website is uh, lakegeorgebattlefield.org. If you have questions or comments, uh, shoot them to us via uh, the email address info at lakegeorgebattlefield.org. Thanks very much. 
Lake George Battlefield Moments, a production of Lake George Battlefield Park Alliance, preserving our area's incredible history. A weekly feature on Lake George Radio, 93.5 FM and live streaming at lakegeorgeradio.com. If you have any questions regarding Lake George Battlefield Moments, email info at lakegeorgebattlefield.org. And tune in every Saturday morning at 945 for Lake George Battlefield Moments.